We know what our pine song will be a ghost town. What do we want? No sale. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? No sale. People in Adelaide just don't get the strong sense of ownership that we have over the trees, that they're ours. And I know that's the case for me because a few years ago I worked planting pine trees um, in the winter. One of the most terrible jobs you can do. It jars your hands, it's back-breaking work. Um, but when I drive out to Victoria, pa past the patch where I planted, I say to my girls, there's the trees that Dad planted. It doesn't matter what poli political party are in, in Adelaide, Mount Gambier is tail end Charlie. We've always been at the arse end of the state. And they're selling, or going to try to sell our trees and make five, six hundred million dollars. But I, as a woman, can tell them how to really make money. Sell Mount Gambia to Victoria, they'd get four or five billion dollars for us because Victoria would appreciate the fact that we are the pearl in the crown of the state of South Australia. And that's a fact. I've worked in the timber industry, been it for uh, more, more years than I care to remember since I was a teenager. And I can just see the writing on the wall, you know, like I think it's a done deal, but if we don't put our hand up and say something, we'll just continue the way it's doing, you know, like everything's good old Adelaide and bugger the South East. We must do something, because if we don't do something, then nothing will happen. But at least we can try and make ourselves known down here. And if Jay Weatherall wants to make a hit for the people of the South East, he'll reverse this decision. I only, only hope that the, perhaps the, the former treasurer might have left a little chink in the armour somewhere where we can upset what I believe perhaps he might have committed the government for a long time ago. We want no sale! When do we want it? Now! When do we want no sale! When do we want it? Our forestry industry has been around for more than 100 years. It's survived wars, it's survived bushfires, and it's still going strong today. But the only thing putting it at risk today is the government. We must tell them we do not want it sold. It returns a great profit to the state. It returns $40 million a year, yet they're going to flog it off for cheap. All to fund Adelaide Oval redevelopments and alike. This is wrong. It's about time governments realise that we are an important, integral part of South Australia. We need a plan for the future from governments, not one that's going to cut the, our industries from underneath us. I reckon that it's about time that the Labor government started being a Labor party and looking after the working class citizens of this country. This is a disgrace. They're going to rip us off yet again, South Australia. Get your act together. Vote for people that actually give a damn about us. It's about time someone stood up and truly represented the people that vote for him. James Weatherill just doesn't realise that what he's doing is, is selling out our futures and all the jobs that are gone just for the Adelaide Oval. Like, all our, my dad owns a trucking business where he carts timber from mill to mill and he's going to have no job if this board sale goes on. The current annual return of 45 million is somewhere around about four and a half billion, maybe five billion. And the whisper is that they're considering selling for much, much less, around about 600 million. It's selling our community out, it's selling you out, it's selling me out, it's selling our future generations out. The PSA board, the people that manage our industry and our forests now, have replied to the government, completely contradicting the OSIL Tasman report. Now, we've got a government that has put these people in charge, in office, in paid positions to run this business for them, they've come out and contradicted 100% the ASIL Tasman report and we're being told by a treasurer that there's going to have no effects on, on he's satisfied, it will have no effect on our industry and our community. I want you to know that I'm committed to the whole of South Australia, including the South East. I won't commit a decision, I won't commit a decision that damages the interests of the South East, but I have to tell you, we are committed to the forward sale of the harvesting right.
Ah! That um, it was a good outcome. Um, the Premier took a fair bit of hackling, and um, I, I think he took it really well. There's an opportunity for us now to um, work on, on what we've already started as a stakeholder group, and uh, we've got a, a real opportunity now to um, make some, some knowledge out of today's event. It was fantastic to have all those people come to rally today. It shows our solidarity and our support towards the end goal. We don't want the, the sale to proceed, but if it has to proceed, let's make sure that we've got the conditions that are um, best for this region and our community, and that we've got a sustainable industry going forward. Yeah, were you surprised by anything you said today? No, I wasn't. I, I expected to have that um, outcome that um, they were steadfast in their resolve to um, continue with the forward sale. But I've always always said that if it doesn't meet, meet the reserve price that they were going to um, walk away, I'm hoping that'll, that'll still happen if um, that does transpire.